All right, what's going on, everybody? Here, welcome to an American Truck Sim video. I am FTG Full Tilt Gaming, and welcome to a mod showcase here, a trailer showcase for ownership for 1.32 ATS. As you can see, spinning in the foreground is our Kenworth K200, so that must mean we might be uh, featuring some Aussie mods here. So, another great trailer here by Custom Aussie Mods. But before we get into the trailer, just want to remind you guys: don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to check the description. Uh, most of the time, more than not, uh, I will say, I'll say at least 90% of the time, I'm very good about putting the links and putting all the necessary information there in the description. So check that out uh, before you write a comment. But if you do have a question or do you have a comment that's constructive to the video uh, and, to the, uh, and, and to the mods themselves, uh, then please, by, by all means, feel free to go ahead and comment there. But go ahead and check the description uh, just so I don't have to tell you to uh, check the description. Uh, I'll have everything in here. So Custom Aussie Mods done another great trailer here. They were the ones that did our uh, road train uh, side tippers, our quad tippers. They did those as well as our drake tilton slides both of those were also brand trucks and we're also gonna be looking at another one here that was done originally by tsa trailers uh for freighter trailers here flat beds uh, flat decks and drop deck trailers uh, and they've been converted and been uh, made available for 1.32 trailer ownership update uh in ats by custom lc mods so big kudos to those guys so let's break into it real quick uh, I'm not going to spend too much time. There's not a ton of stuff we could do, but there's some really good things about this mod. And even though that it's free, it still doesn't mean that it's a crap mod or that it's cheap or somehow that it's less than. Um, it's really good. So let's just check it out. Trailer manager. We're going to add a trailer dealer. I'd already got one bought just because we had to do the video. So um, let's do, I'm going to go back through here, drop decks. Now you got a couple of different ones, B-doubles, double road trains, triple road trains. The only difference between the B-double and double road train is that it actually adds an actual pivoting uh, like a pup axle trailer in the middle. The B-doubles actually attach from one to the other and have a shorter front flatbed with a drop deck in the back, with, uh, drop deck in the back, which does give you the two, but it's just broken in the middle there. So whichever one you decide, we're just going to sense what's what we've got here. Um, let's just look at these uh, drop decks here. Uh, now, you can make these whatever you want. You can make them flatbeds, or you can make them drop decks, uh, whichever one is your, uh, pick your poison, so to speak. So I'm just going to do drop decks since we've actually got them in the other video. And we've got the K200 here on the front. So I'm just going to pick a simple black. And the cool thing is it already has yellow trim around the sides of the, of the trailer, which I thought, well, hey, look at there. It actually matches with the Caterpillar. So... Uh, let's go ahead. Let's move into accessories. Now, uh, the one thing is we've got all the wheels here. So if you want to, uh, do any of these wheels, you certainly can. And we can put, uh, we can put a couple of these in here. Uh, actually for right now, I'll tell you what, just for, just for this, the, the speed of the video, let's add these in. And I know why let's go ahead. Let's, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go and do this real quick. It won't take me but a second. It's like, oh my God, he's got to do wheels again. <gasps> one of those is dun, 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 dun. all right so we'll go ahead and speedily do this speedily is that a word speedily speedily it's feels weird all right so do that and let's go ahead and drop another one there we'll drop another tire here drop another tire and we're going to drop another tire all right so what this thing does offer actually you know what i should have done this flat good thing is it keeps my wheels and tires all right uh, because what I wanted to showcase is this one has more options than the drop deck does. Drop deck actually has all of the, um, the, the mud guards and all the wheel wells already built into the trailer. The flat deck does not. So you can do signs on the back. So if you want to do gates on either one of the trailers or both trailers, you certainly can. Uh, and the loads will be loaded in between those. And you've got long vehicle and road train uh, in there. I'm going to put long vehicle just because I can. And we also have a couple of options. So we can do chrome guard. So if you're driving uh, something like the 108, 208, 609, 908, any of those RTA mod trucks, which is what this one is, uh, you can actually choose this to be the chrome. Now, I've got it painted just because for some odd reason, I just like the chrome accents. Uh, and then having the painted uh, back ends and the painted bumper. I just thought it looked good with the cat, uh, the cat logos and stuff here. That's one of my favorite jobs on the um, uh, on the on the uh, the K two hundred, which by the way uh, is another Poly creation. So thank you there, Poly, for your uh, contributions to the um, to the collective here. So you can change these to be chrome if you want to. And they've got the little brush guards around the rear of the wheels, which I think is pretty freaking cool. But the only thing we see that on around here is uh, <laughs> it's garbage trucks. So we've got the Michelin tires. We got the brush guards, you got chrome. So if you want to do painted or chrome, you can. The paintings don't have the pretty brushes though. 
Um, and then you've got one option here. So you've got the, the uh, air stand uh, and as well as your air connections and all that is fully functional just like it is with everything else. You can do chrome versions on this, painted guards or rubber guard, which is basically nothing more than a stretched uh, mud flap across the top. Uh, that is a little bit flexible now. It's not animated flexible in sim, uh, but in in the real uh, counterpart world there it would be so Also got mud flaps that come in as well. So it's a little bit different um, You know, it's a little bit different, but not not quite the same So we'll just keep painted guards and that's that's all on that one now This one has the same things you can do road trains you can do long vehicles You can add the gates to it just like you can on the front uh, and then there you go. So the other one, uh, if you're wanting to do this on the double row train side, or actually, is it the B double side? I think it might be. Just want to want to double check and make sure I get all of the stuff in here. Gates on the front and back, chrome guards, and then gates on the front and back as well. So yeah, so there you go. So they're just kind of looking through a few of the different options here, especially on the trailer side. Now, if you want to take this and go crazy ridiculous, you can do double row chains or triple row trains. Uh, and then pull that whole entire monstrosity down the road. Um, so, yeah. So, we didn't do that for this one since we did the quads. I was like, well, let's do the doubles because I still like doubles. They're, they're, they're generally fair uh, and they do pretty well. Now, uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to see if I can get out of this. Yes, I want to do this. Okay, we're going to have to confirm and then leave. Now yeah, let's leave. There we go. All right, so in your job market, when you're looking through your cargo market here with these B-doubles, the cool thing is you'll notice here that you do actually have good weights on this thing. So depending on what you're looking at here, you're still going to have all of these big doubles are all going to be around the same weights. Now, if you have singles versus triples, that weight is going to change. Also, the price per load changes based on the amount of mileage that you're going. Uh, and this is based on real world counterpart, at least for what it is right now. Uh, you'll kind of expect to get paid uh, what you would normally get paid and, and paid price per mile. And you can actually see where it's changed in here. Price per mile, 679, 527 a mile. Uh, and then that's eight, uh, a total of $1,852. So uh, the longer the trips, the better you're going to get paid, of course. But you're not going to find any like million dollar, you know, you're not going to find any huge million dollar loads waiting for you out there. Um, so it's, it, it's good. And the trailer is very fairly weighted and fairly, uh, you know, your, your, uh, your, uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Anyway, your pay on these trailers is going to be fair as well, like I said before. So anyway, that's what's on these. So we'll get the next load loaded up, uh, and then we'll uh, go ahead and take our next trip in, which I believe is going to be from Bend, uh, Oregon up to, is that the Dales, I think, or the Dallas? Uh, one of the two. I'm not from Oregon, so I have no idea. So please feel free to correct me if you are from the great Oregon uh, duck land. The Ducks is the mascot for the State University. But anyway, if you are, then let me know how you say that word because I'm kind of curious to know how you say it, whether or not it's the Dallies or the Dales um, or the Dalles, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, it don't matter. We're going from being to Dallas. We'll get loaded up here. And we'll cut into it, the video here, and uh, and we'll be off to the races. So don't forget to stay on this video. I'm going to put some other things as well just to remind you. I'm going to put some other video on the back end of this video. So if you want to just kind of skip through some of the next parts here, if you want to watch some of the driving of these, feel free to. If you want to watch some of the other cinematic shots and stuff uh, on the back end, we're going to kind of go through some of the other trailers, uh, exactly what some of the other loads, what they are, what they look like. And then I'll have all the links and stuff in the description. You guys can check it out for yourself. Uh, and make it happen. So anyway, that's it for me. Uh, for this, I'll get loaded up. We'll get to it. Well, here we are fixing to drive down into Bent, Oregon. We have a K200 here. We got our uh, blue stripe here. We got both flat decks on the back here. So once we uh, once we get in here to our destination, we only got a little bit further up the road here. So welcome to Oregon. If you haven't, we've got a couple of live streams where we did nothing but just take uh, certain pathways, something, uh, certain drives up in, in, in and around Oregon there. So if you haven't seen any, they go check some of those out here in some of our recent. Did some, uh, did some logging on there, which is actually quite fun. Uh, so I can't wait for some more logging mods to come out uh, and just uh, you know give us a little bit of a better synopsis of uh, just a, the full 
the full availability to customize uh, the economy here for Oregon. And it should be good. I'm looking forward to seeing when all the guys come out from the logging side. You know, a lot of the pay work guys have already got some big trailers and stuff planned. So, so we're going down to pick up uh, a double set trailer of planks. Now, obviously, I realize that this is a Caterpillar truck. Caterpillar probably does not, uh, you know, promote themselves as a uh, lumber hauler. But you know what? It's a good skin. It's a cool skin. And Paulie's done a lot for me. Uh, so I'll feature his skins any day of the week. So, yeah. Before you comment, that that's why this skin is on this truck. So, yeah. I just had to get over it. All right. Let's see. Let's see a little how these trailers look. Swung that out a little wide, didn't we? All right, well, we're all loaded up here, so let's go ahead. Let's, uh, Let's go ahead and get on out of here. Let's make sure. Yeah, okay. Looks like we're going to take a ride out of here. Get some lights cut on. Looks like it's already uh, 8.45 in the morning. So they got us all loaded up pretty early. I am at 18 speed as well. 18 speed, 6, 6.05. This is the N14 chipped. I know it probably should be the others, but I, but I like the sound of this truck. I'm just going to be honest with you. I like the sound of the engines more than I like the uh, the brand of the engine. Perfect. Couple more turns here, and we'll be on our way up North Oregon here. So, kind of funny pulling a uh, an Aussie uh, set of trailers here in Oregon, but it's all good. I will say this is a well modeled set of. Uh, you can about expect any of these other cargos and stuff to look really good. Now the wood, I think the wood load is new. I may, maybe custom. Maybe you guys can comment on the video and tell me if there are any new loads that you guys have been working on that's on here. But uh, I remember the pipes and the general freight and the container boxes, but I don't remember uh, the lumber stuff. Because actually, I, I enjoy some of the lumber trailers, even in before I enjoyed carrying some of the logs, or at least some of the better ones. Uh, some of them, the default stuff was kind of cheesy, but uh, I like the custom ones. I wanted to hear what the horn sounded like. I had no idea it was going to be uh, no, it was going to be that. <laughs> Sorry.
All right, what's uh, what's up, everybody? We get uh, we're all the way up here. I uh, just saw some of our uh, our, our good. Well, I don't even know. What you call the glory. I don't even know what you call those. Just good action shots. Anyway, we are here at our destination, so we're going to run some more things. But as we're getting uh, getting these doubles all parked up here, remember I've got all the links down in the description. So if you made it this far in the video, I appreciate you guys watching all the way through. Very much so. Uh, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe uh, Subscribe if you want to see more. Hit the bell for notifications. If you want to keep up with more of these trailer mods, whenever these things come out, uh, I'll do my best to bring these ASAP to you so that you can uh, drive and enjoy ATS the way that I do. Um, I enjoy it, so uh, I do not mind helping other people out to get the same enjoyment out of the game as I do. So thanks, guys, for watching. Like I said, I will roll some more footage here off uh, at the end here of some of the other trailers. So if you want to check on uh, at least what some of the other loads are here with some of the other trailer combinations i'll try my best to kind of feature all these things in and out here of the video but anyway thanks guys for watching i uh, hope you enjoyed these don't forget leave a like and subscribe if you want to see it and then go down and check all the links down there for custom aussie mods facebook group as well as download links and if i don't have the download link then go to the facebook page join up there with the group see what's going on in there see what other kind of stuff they have uh, they've got a few other trailers we featured as well as these tsa doubles and flat decks only so good to see everybody thank you for coming out for the video here we'll see y'all here in the next american truck sim video or whatever else we're live streaming at the time so come check us uh come say hey and we'll see you here in the next live stream or video guys see you peace